Right, it's time for another beer review, and we're going to do Buddy's Bourbon Flavoured Beer. This was from uh, Tesco. Um, it's Bourbon Flavoured Beer with a hint of honey. It says JW Buddy to the state or Buddy to his pals was told that nothing mixed with beer. He didn't listen. So, I mean, it, it already says what it's going to taste like, but. Actually, getting quite a bit of honey off the, the nose of the bottle. Hmm, smells pretty good actually. Alright, let's give it a go. Crystal clear, great carbonation, looks just like a like a lager if you like. 5.1%. Hmm, getting quite a bit of honey smell and honey sweetness. Not really getting any kind of bourbon. I did a bourbon beer recently myself but used um, bourbon essence in the beer and it kind of uh, came out too sweet. Right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I kind of expected it to be um, almost too sweet. I had a um, a bourbon beer recently from another supermarket. I think it was called. Dead Crow, I believe. I think I got it from Asda or somewhere. And uh, it was really sweet, almost like sickly sweet, like it had been uh, had it, like syrup added to it or something. But this isn't that. This isn't like that. It's more of a, a natural sweetness rather than a, than a fake sweetness. And if it ain't, it's, it's well, it's well done. really really taste the honey in that. A lot of things I've drunk that's claimed to have honey in it, I can never really kind of pick it up normally. Let's see what else it says on here. It says we only know two things for sure about JW Buddy. First, whatever he did, he pushed the boundaries and thoroughly enjoyed doing so. Secondly, he rewrote the rule book when he mixed bourbon, honey and beer, inspiring today's classic brew. The other rumours we can only hope are true www.buddiesbrewhouse.com Brewed in the UK to so the recipe license from Buddy's Brewhouse, Michigan. Hmm. I can't say I'm getting a lot of the the bourbon, if you like. Or bourbon, however you want to pronounce it. I haven't really drunk a lot of bourbon personally in my in my lifetime, but what's that? It's there. It's very um, understated. The honey seems to be coming through a lot more. Lovely sweetness on the finish. Nice and refreshing as well. Great mouthfeel. It's almost a little bit. Although the, the initial taste, you feel like you're you're getting a lager. It's a little bit thicker. But I guess because of the honey and whatever has been added to it, it's got a bit more of a look. Like it coats your tongue. I mean, it could be the the sugar from the honey. I would have thought that's doing that. Hmm. That is really nice. I suggest giving that a go. I really didn't think that would be that great. Being one of the kind of um, these ones that Tesco get, they kind of put out there and you think, oh, you know, you look at them and you think, oh, that ain't going to be that great. But that's actually really pleasant. It says with a hint of honey on there, but for me, it's really there. That's great. 
I can thoroughly recommend that if you see that in Tesco's. I don't think it was very expensive either for that. It's only a, a little 330, but that's a great beer to try. Cheers.